Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a feature of Pro Tools called Dynamic Transport Mode. This lets you decouple the playback location from your timeline selection and actually gives you up to a total of three playback positions for auditioning different transitions, loops, different sections of your song. So let's get into it here. First of all, the way you are going to activate it is right here, Dynamic Transport. But before we do that, I want to talk about one other button real quick. That is Link, Timeline, and Edit Selection. What that does is basically whenever I make an edit selection, it selects a timeline. If I make a timeline selection, it also selects across my clips. We can turn that off. And then we have a timeline selection as well as an edit selection. This is kind of useful, you know, maybe you have a carefully made selection of a certain part of your song and you don't want to lose that just to go and listen to the next part. So what I'm doing here is I'm hitting the right bracket to start my timeline selection, left bracket to start playback for my edit selection. Now we can take that even one further by turning on dynamic transport. Now what this does is not only do we have a timeline selection to play back from, an edit selection that we can play back from. But we also have this play start marker, which can be independently placed anywhere else. Now to audition a loop transition using dynamic transport, we need to enable it in the options dropdown menu. Then ensure that loop playback mode is enabled. At this point, we can make our timeline selection as far as how many measures we wish to loop. As you can see, we can reposition the timeline selection in and out points, the play start marker, and also our edit selection independently when dynamic transport is enabled. So let's go into the different keyboard shortcuts you need to understand in order to be able to take advantage of these three different playback points. The left bracket is gonna start our edit selection playing. The right bracket is going to start our timeline selection. If we hit the space bar though, the play start marker will be where playback starts from. I'm going to expand this timeline selection to include the chorus going into the bridge and back to the chorus again so we can hear how that's sounding. So maybe I'm thinking about uh, different guitar solo ideas and I want to hear how it comes out and in but without having to wait for the whole bridge to play. So now I hit my left bracket. I can hear where the chorus is, where it's coming back into. My right bracket is where the chorus goes into it. And then my play start marker is going to be in the middle of the bridge. Maybe I want to hear that part for doing solos or just a lick that's a few bars long. Very useful feature in Pro Tools. You guys should check it out as it'll definitely speed up your workflow, especially for auditioning different parts and sections of your song quickly, as well as looped sections. Doesn't matter if you're tracking, editing, or mixing, it's gonna help you out in all those workflows. So I'm Jeff from Obedia. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Have a good one.